Hello everyone and welcome to the demo of Arco, which is a turn-based strategy RPG. And let's just jump right in and try it out. Act 1, Pilgrimage. Home camp. Eo Pilgrimage Convoy. There once lived a boy. The boy's family lived off the land. All was well. One day, the boy's whole village went on a pilgrimage to visit the sacred tree, a holy place for their people. But they stopped just short of their destination. Am I riding a llama? bored. <laughs> you should find something to do. Oh, it's a donkey. Okay. <laughs> See ya, donkey. The tent smells of your village. It's been weeks since you left. Hello, Otil. Teko, there you are. It's your lucky day, because I'm in need of some help. That's me. I'm real lucky. That's the right attitude. I'm glad you see it that way. Listen, poor Roberto is shooting snot like a cannon. <laughs> Ew. Oh, it's nothing too serious. A little yarrow will fill him up real good. Maybe you could visit the grove nearby to uh, get some? I'd go myself, but you know what would happen if I left Roberto all alone. Now, I've marked it on your map nice and big. Yarrow, big white flowers, can't miss it. Okay. Cool. New mission marked on the journal. Sorry, in the journal. Big white flowers? Got it. You can travel to the neighboring locations by going to the edge of the current location and interacting with the map icon. Okay. Uh, anyone want me to do something else? You does sharpening arrows. Why are we stopped here? Uh, when are we going to visit the sacred tree? There's no rush. We'd best tread carefully. You need help with anything? No, but didn't Oatly... Oatly? Wasn't it Oatil? Uh, need something? Uh, don't keep him waiting. Fine, I was just trying to see if there were people that wanted help. You know, other than him? Sorry for wanting to be efficient. You can interact with various elements on your journey. Try finding the requested yarrow. And we have white flowers here. You find some yarrow, but there is black stuff on it. Ooh. Uh, take only the clean yarrow. You try to separate the clean yarrow, but the black stuff clings. You end up with all of it. Eh. Yeah, well, I don't want the dirty. Most locations have things to discover. Some are more hidden than others. No. Oh. You notice something shimmering in the long grass. It's a golden coin. Lucky you. Nice. Also, that said coins. Uh, you know, plural. Meaning there was more than one. Oh, doesn't seem to be anything else here, so... Let's go back with the arrow. Got your roots, sir. I knew you'd come through. Thanks, kid. Roberto only needs a bit. You can keep the rest. Oh, and here's something for your troubles. Thank you. Thanks. Hold up. What's that on your hands? Oh, I cleaned some black stuff off the arrow. 
Whoa there, don't come any closer. You better go wash that stuff off right away. Now. Oh, okay. Roberto spits. He's pretty judgmental for a llama. <laughs> uh, yes, get rid of it. Oakley knows what he's talking about. It takes some scrubbing, but you manage to wash it all off. You feel a lightness in your being. Decisions along your journey can raise or lower your character's guilt, which represents how much the journey is weighing on their mind. As your guilt grows, your journey will change. Consider your actions carefully. Some decisions bring easier gain, but your demons will catch up to you eventually. Anyway, thanks kid. Roberto and I appreciate it. Uh, hello. Teco, I made some tamales. My favorite. That's my boy. Thank you. Eat up, you need your strength. Uh, what's wrong, Dad? We've spotted strangers near the sacred tree. Let's brush up on your training. I'm ready. Good. Let's see what you can do. Combat is split into two phases. Planning, decide your actions according to the situation, and action. Both your team and your enemies execute their moves. Click on the ground to move. A move action is selected automatically. Get close to the dummies. Choose punch action from the bottom right of the screen. Use keyboard numbers or mouse. Uh, click on your target to attack. Running punch? Is that the one? Must be. Performing attacks consumes magia. Moon will regenerate one magia. Weight will regenerate three magia. Okay. Confirming a move action on top of your character will make you wait automatically. Okay. I defeated the dummies. Good work, Teko. I'll give you a moving target. Selecting the ground when attacking will make you target a specific spot. Selecting an enemy will make you chase the target and attack when in range. Okay. Nice. Not bad, kid. I'll fight back now. Stay focused. Winning a fight is pretty simple. Hit and avoid getting hit. The red icon over enemies signifies damage dealing action. Run when you see it, strike when you don't. Alright. Alright, don't split my lip now. Good work, Teko. I knew you had it in you. If the enemy is right next to you, you won't have time to distance yourself before they strike. Positioning is key. A great defense will keep you in the fight, but a good offense will get you out. Attacks that interrupt will stop enemy actions. Look at the bar at the bottom of the screen for your actions info. I won't give you a window to strike now. You'll have to interrupt my attacks. Uh, okay, so it interrupts. Striking enemies will knock them back. That will give you space to dodge their next attack. Yep, I noticed. Mm. 
Not quick enough. Again. Okay, okay, you've made your point. Looks like you know what you're doing. Not really, but sure. Let's see what else is on the menu. Maybe next we can... Dodging is on the chopping block. Let's turn up the heat and add a little complexity. Okay. So you're going to dodge? Okay. Hold and drag to curve your movement. It will allow you to close the distance while dodging projectiles. Oh. Like... No. Huh. Oh. Good! Time to strike back! Melee attacks are quicker than ranged. Get close and punch away. Okay, okay, you've made your point. Looks like you know what you're doing. Not bad, but you'd better keep practicing. Gain 10 experience, woo! Time to practice your Arco skills. Clicking your party opens the management menu. Manage your inventory, buy new abilities, keep track of your missions, and heal. Okay. Uh, go to the upgrade menu to get the shoot arrow ability. Skills. Purchase! Basic range attack, slower than melee. No interrupt. Awesome. This is the final test. Don't hold back, Teko. I'm supposed to actually shoot you? They're padded arrows, kid. Your mom would kill me if I died. Funny. <laughs> you have gained a new ranged ability. It will appear at the bottom of the screen. Ranged abilities are safe to use from a distance, but usually take longer to execute, making them weaker in close combat. Well, obviously. Uh, different abilities use different amounts of magia. Required magia will be highlighted when selecting an action and shown uh, on the info bar at the bottom. Regain magia using the move or wait actions. Some environment elements, like uh, magia plants, give extra magia. You're a quick study. Got me good that time. Use items in your inventory to heal after combat. Your father is staring off into the horizon again. Dad? The world keeps changing. He looks at you. Do you know why Eos have survived for so long? We're great hunters. We adapt. There are many different peoples in Makitok. We Eos are proud of our traditions, but we've never been afraid to embrace new cultures. So I'll be adaptable. 
Your father is silent for a moment. You do what you have to do in order to survive, but remember who you are, Teko. I know who I am. Well, that's enough chit-chat. You should look for an offering for the tree. Okay. What do you want me to do? Teko, I'm bored. You got a gift yet for the tree? No. Well, you've got time to find her one. Okay, do you have a gift for her yet? Well, no. Uh-huh. You notice some scratches on her knee. How'd you hurt yourself? Kosa looks furtively around. I overheard the adults talking about a cave, and I went looking for it. That was dumb. Well, the path was too rocky, so I didn't actually get to see it. But I'll show you where it is. She draws a map in the sand. Good. Now we can go there to look for a thing. An offering. Kosa's sand drawings are surprisingly accurate and you quickly find your way to the cave. Not bad for a little kid. Hope she keeps drawing. Hello. A small herd of tak tak are tearing into a patch of grass. I guess your favorite food never gets old. The stench of reptilian feces assaults your nose. Gross. Talk about leaving a mess. No lizard responds. Maybe you've embarrassed them. <laughs> it's dark in there. Not very inviting. Enter? A choir of hisses echoes throughout the cave. What have I gotten myself into? Well, I guess we fight. There we go. Oh no, we got more lizards coming. Good. <laughs> New skills available. Nice. I bet our cam trader would buy these. Okay, so they don't work as offerings? Well, that's annoying. Nothing else, right? Nope. Ooh, are those lizard eggs? Yeah, turns out that cave was full of a heap of angry lizards. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sidlali has been looking for lizard eggs. I bet she'd trade you something cool from her caravan. Nice, I'll go find her. Okay, who is that then? Ah. Tiko, what can I do for you? Find anything cool lately? For sure. I got a rattler tail off some uh, two egg traders. Cool. Their tails make neat rattling noises. Might be a good offering for the sacred tree. Can I have it? You can have anything for a price. What price? Lizard eggs. I'll trade if you've got any. I do. I do. Let's trade. Yep. Trade. Here you go. The finest dead snake tail I've got. <laughs> cool. I hope the sacred tree likes it. Your family is gathered by the campfire. Hey, kid, come sit by the fire. I got a story. And there's food. Food! I'm starving! 
you burn your tongue on the pozole, but it's worth it. Uh, Grandpa clears his throat. He looks alert after his long nap. We know the tales of the great gods. We've heard stories of the feathered serpents and the four suns humans lived under before this one. But today, I have a story about a tree. The lingering chatter dies down. Everyone listens. The sacred tree was once an ordinary woman, an Ayo hunter like me or you. The food in your belly and the warmth of the fire makes your eyelids heavy. Listen. But perhaps she was not quite like you or me. She could read the wind and follow the trail of her prey. She understood the whispering of trees and knew where animals had made their shelter. She was the best hunter to ever walk the earth. And it wasn't enough for her. A chill wind brushes your cheek. You huddle closer to the fire. She hunted down animal after animal, each rarer than the last. Until she became obsessed with the rarest of all. Blue jaguar. Light as the sun, radiant as the moon. Blue jaguar was full of magic and sacred to the gods. Did she find it? The others look at you in annoyance. She found Blue Jaguar. Your grandfather tips back his head to look at the sky. She killed Blue Jaguar. And the gods were angry. Better not say anything then. They turned the Ayo Hunter into a tree. The world must remain in balance. The blue jaguar held up the weight of the heavens. The hunter had to take blue jaguar's place. Seems just. We hunt to survive. We harvest from the earth. But some take more than is needed. And there's always a price to pay. It's getting colder. Your eyelids are still heavy. Shake it off. The hunter's punishment was to become the tree, unable to hunt, forever holding up the heavens. All Ios go on a pilgrimage to thank the sacred tree for upholding the balance. His words finally lull you into sleep. I wanted to hear the whole story. You wake in the middle of the night. You dreamt of the sacred tree, of her terrible loneliness. The offerings have dwindled and she doesn't know why. Uh, get up. You'll never see the sacred tree if you wait for the adults. They might decide to turn back for home tomorrow. Okay. Guess we're heading out. Probably not a good idea. This owl's been eyeballing you all week. <laughs> Hello, owl. Ugh, even its hoots sound judgmental. No, I just sounded like a normal owl. Uh, okay. Guess we're not leaving just yet. Anything else we're supposed to do here? Mom and Dad's tent. There's a wooden chest. Your dad keeps his maps here. Open. It's locked. An image of the key your dad wears around his neck flickers through your mind. <laughs> oh boy. Sneak in and take the key. You creep in close and reach to untie his key. Mmm, tamales. Delicious. He's rolling over. Grab the key. Mm -hmm. Can I get a spicy one, darling? 
That was close. Yeah. Unlock. The map sits atop a pile of papers, parchments, and trinkets. All right. Doubts fill you. It's dark. The adults will be so angry. But without any offerings, the tree has no connections. She's alone for all eternity. Anything else? No? Okay. Let's go then. You hear something in the grass. <gasps> All right, I could learn something. Um. Oh yes. Don't mind having one more magia. Yeah? You can hover your cursor over things to get more information about them. Try it on enemies, environment, elements, items, bullets, your own skills, and more. You can use some environment elements to your advantage. Hover over the cactus to see what it does. Oh. Beetles. Okay. Oh. Did not mean to... It said when hit. I only touched it. Okay. Nice. Use items in your inventory to heal after combat. Wind rustles through the upper branches of the sacred tree. They sway gently as if to greet you. Hello? You feel shy and suddenly doubtful of your offering. Maybe it's not personal enough. Well, anything is better than nothing. Get close to the tree to deliver your offering. Lights glimmer as you approach. So pretty. But it feels like something is watching. You realize the glimmering lights are humming. They're fireflies, and they're closing in on you. Okay. Interesting. Oh, that said something. Okay, light. Even more fireflies? The adrenaline from fighting suddenly leaves you, and you remember that you're up way past your bedtime. So tired. Just gonna rest for a moment. Probably not a good idea. Yeah, now it's morning. Your head pounds. You open your eyes to searing light. Uh, what? The sun is high over you. You fell asleep at the sacred tree. My parents are gonna kill me! You rush to your feet and then you remember. My offering for the tree! You whirl around but, of course, the sacred tree is still there. She waits patiently for your offering. Approach the sacred tree. You pull out the rattler's tail which seemed good enough at the time but now seems too impersonal. 
You give the tail a shake. At least it makes a cool noise. Yep. Donate. Just as you kneel to make your offering, a thunderous noise and gust of wind rush past your head. What the heck? Uh, what? A stranger. What the beep, Diego? It's just a kid. And he makes great target practice. Ha! <laughs> The strangers speak gibberish. Their faces are pale. You don't recognize what tribe their clothing is from. Because they're probably not from a tribe. They must be the newcomers your father warned you about. They seem to have fallen into an argument. You find out if he has people nearby. Aw, oh, come on. Let's play with them first. These men are dangerous. Yeah, for one thing, they probably have guns. But... Hey, it's more interesting to fight, isn't it? So let's attack. Oh, he's a fasty one. Quickly clear distance and fly over holes. Bigger range and speed. Uh, are we hurt? Yes, we are. Let's fight. Dashing allows you to fly over holes and dodge bullets more easily. Use it to escape the thugs. Okay, so four. Um. Oh, boy. Uh, actually. Wait, those bullets are coming in this direction. Oh boy. I don't think this is gonna <laughs> end very well at all. Nope. <laughs> uh, fall back. One eternity later. Got a feeling I'm not going to figure out how to beat this. Uh, no, we are not going to beat this. So yeah, I am ending this video here. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Please consider leaving a like and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye!